Good afternoon, Rainbow Rockets. I'm coming to you live from my backyard patio, and we're here with our second edition of Laugh and Learn. I'm coming to you each week, something that I've learned that I wanna share with you. Last week, we talked about the Hoover Dam and some interesting facts, and this week, we're gonna do a science experiment and, of course, have a joke at the end like we did last week. That relates to the science experiment. So this is a very simple science experiment, something you can do from home in your kitchen or outside like I am. So what you will need for this experiment, main ingredient is an egg that you can get from your kitchen. We also, you don't have to have a wooden spoon, it can be any kind of spoon. Uh, we need salt, some kind of form of salt. And in these jars, I have a jar that is filled with tap water from the sink, and I have a jar that has been pre-filled with six tablespoons of salt. So you can tell the difference in the water and how, how much more clear the tap water is. So we've dropped our two eggs into both of these containers. We see that the container that has salt water is floating. The egg is floating and we of course see the one with tap water is not floating. It immediately went to the bottom. Why does the egg float? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Salt water is denser than ordinary tap water. So when you look at any object, not just an egg, I'll give you an example. The Dead Sea contains 34% salt. The Dead Sea is located in Israel, and it's the saltiest body of water in the entire Earth. You can utilize, like I said last week, Google Earth and take a look at this, or you can look at some images online and see some great pictures and videos of people floating. Grown adults like myself, it is so salty and so dense that adults are even floating in the water. You immediately go into that body of water, your arms and your legs are floating. And it's difficult to even dive into the water. So when you look at this experiment, it's quite simple. But you may not have known about the Dead Sea. So I hope, boys and girls, that you learned something that you can try it out for yourself at home. And I love being able to talk to you guys, and I miss you so much. So now I'm gonna turn it over to my dog, Duke, who's got our joke this week that relates to eggs. Have an awesome week, guys. Good afternoon, Rainbow Rockets. This is Duke, and my master, Mr. Givens, had a cool science experiment for you today. So here's my joke that relates to eggs. What day of the week do eggs hate? Friday! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Have a great week, boys and girls!